In today's video, we're going to talk about the importance of a thumbs forward grip for accuracy, and we've got our good friend Jenna here who's going to help us out. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We'd sure like to thank all of our viewers for sticking with us and helping us get traction. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, as well as the like and the share, and also hit that little bell for instant notifications so you never miss one of our episodes. Now today, we're joined by our good friend Jenna. She's back to help us out today. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of having a good grip with your pistol. Jen, I know you spend a lot of time with rifles and shotguns. How much time you spent with pistols? Um, I feel like I've shot or fired many times on different ones, but I would prefer to work on my grip. Excellent, excellent. Well, the grip's the foundation for everything. And if, you're, if, if your grip is wrong, it's going to show in everything that you do. So probably the first place to start is you want to make sure when you grip it, you use your left hand to put it right up into you know the web of your thumb and then wrap your hands completely around it and this is called the beaver tail you want to make sure you grab it up nice and high just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to start by what we like to say hitchhiking your thumb out of the way and with your left hand you're actually going to point your left hand right at the target like you're jabbing somebody with your thumb and your thumb is going to be going right in here on top of the, the serial number and you're going to take the rest part of your palm here and it's going to fill up this spot right here. So when you, when you hold it, it's going to be just like this. And then you're just going to lower your other thumb right on top of it, just like that. Yep, outstanding. This thumb goes right there. Now, the beauty of this is that you're actually using your, your body's own mechanism to help point the pistol. And, and the reason we have the thumb out front like that is because it works on the exact same principle for how you aim a flashlight. When you push the button down, the beam goes right where you want it. So the same thing. Real important to have that, that thumb pointed towards your target so that you're using your natural mechanisms to do that. Now, one of the things you might want to do is scoot your hand back just a little bit to fill in that space. With this one here, just kind of rotate this back, kind of turn it like this. Perfect. And that way, what you've got is equal coverage on all four sides of the grip, equal friction. Now, even though you've got equal friction and equal coverage on all four sides, you don't necessarily want equal strength. Now, it's important that you're able to keep your shooting hand nice and loose and most of your power actually comes from the support hand. So you're going to want approximately 30% of your total pressure in your shooting hand and about 70% in your support hand. And you want to feel that kind of pressure on top of it. Now if, if, if the whole 30-70 thing is not really working for you, what you can do is you can grip it with your left hand until it starts to shake and then back off a little bit. Now, one of the things that's kind of like, I like to use the analogy of like throttling a bike. You want to be pushing your palms together to get good strength on the gun. Not so much so that you shake though. Now, one of the things that you're noticing right now is that the gun gets heavy when it's out in front of you. And one of the things that you can do, because you're going to get what's called this axis of motion, where the gun's going to move around like this. Um, for starters, push the gun as far away from you as possible, full extension. Now, if you want to relieve some of that um, axis of movement, you push forward with your support hand and pull back, uh, push forward with your shooting hand and pull back with the support hand. So you have dynamic tension, like you're pushing your right hand against a wall. And that's going to help um, steady up the gun. Now, if for any reason you need to rest, what you would do is Loosen up, you come back here, what we call the high ready position. And with the high ready, you always have it pointed right to where the target's at. And that's a good place to rest because that's the same place like if you were struggling with a jar of pickles. This is where you're strong. Not out here, not down here, right there. Excellent. Well, that's a good grip. Does that feel fairly natural to you? Yes. It's, it's going to make a big difference when you're pointing your thumb towards the target. 
So, um, any questions? No, I feel pretty comfortable. Excellent, excellent. You know, a lot of people, when they get started with the thumbs forward grip, it feels a little bit awkward, but once you get used to pointing your thumb, it becomes really natural and very instinctive, just having your thumb point to the target. All right, we'll stick around. We're gonna run some rounds through it and see how she does. All right, we're back and we're gonna put some rounds down range. You ready for this? Yeah. Outstanding. All right, so go ahead and pick up the pistol with your left hand, put it into your right. Good. Go ahead and grab that magazine, finger on the top round, slide it in, give it a good little tap. Yep, pull that back and then slam forward. Good job. Let's start by hitchhiking this thumb out of the way. And you're gonna plant your thumb there. Fill in that little gap. That's awesome, that looks excellent. All right, now remember you're gonna have about 30% pressure here and about 70% pressure there. You wanna make sure a good indicator of that is I should be able to flick your thumb. You wanna make sure you don't over grip with the right because sometimes it'll push it to the right. So this is what you want. All of your power comes from right there. So remember when you push forward, you're gonna push forward with one hand and pull back with the other. All right, go ahead and uh, raise your pistol. Go ahead and look at the target. Focus on your front sight. And when you're ready, reach down with your trigger finger and tear it up. All right, you're empty. And you hit the target. I'm stoked. All right, go ahead and set her down. Well, we'd sure like to thank Jenna for coming out and uh, helping us with that demonstration on the importance of what we call the thumbs forward grip. Uh, we hope you guys will try that technique out. It's going to help you all get uh, much smaller groups. On behalf of Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Thanks again to Jenna. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching our videos. And if you enjoy watching them and want to see more of them, you can also consider come checking us out on our Patreon channel. For as little as $2 a month, you'll have access to the blogs, you'll have access to extra original videos, discounts on clothing, and also some giveaways. So come check us out.